uh, helicopter crashed into a mountain. The tragic death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant killed today in a helicopter crash in Southern California. Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, two basketball teammates and their family members, a coach and the pilot, all were killed. January 26th, 2020, 9.06 a.m. Pacific Time. The Sikorsky S-76B helicopter takes off from Orange County, California, headed for the northern L.A. suburbs. Aboard the helicopter are the pilot and eight passengers. 9.21 a.m. The helicopter starts circling over Glendale, California, close to the city of Burbank. The pilot requests SVFR clearance or special visual flight rules clearance in order to fly in poor weather conditions due to fog which was causing low visibility. 9.33 a.m. The pilot requests flight following, which is radar assistance in order to avoid any traffic. But the pilot's request is denied and told he is flying too low for radar assistance. The pilot then tells air control he is climbing higher to avoid a cloud layer. 9.42 a.m. An air traffic controller tries to contact the pilot, but receives no response. Two Echo X-ray, what do you say intention? Two Echo X-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. 9.47 a.m. 911 receives a call regarding a helicopter crash on a mountain bike trail near Calabasas. 11.24 a.m. TMZ sends the world into shock, breaking the news of the helicopter crash and identifying the passengers aboard. Ara Zobayan, a flight instructor and pilot of the aircraft. Christina Mauser, mother of three and assistant coach of the Mamba Academy basketball team. Sarah and Peyton Chester. Sarah Chester is the mother of Peyton, a young player for the Lady Mambas. John, Carrie, and Alyssa Altabelli. John Altabelli is a baseball coach for Orange Coast College, aboard with his wife Carrie Altabelli and daughter Alyssa, who is a player for the Lady Mambas. Gianna Bryant, daughter of Kobe and Vanessa Bryant second oldest of four daughters and an aspiring prodigy for the Lady Mambas. And Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players ever. No words could describe how the world of basketball was feeling. The internet was a place of chaos. Half were in shock and pure sadness over the news, and the other half were just thinking it was some immature fake news prank. The basketball world was experiencing the scariest day in NBA history. The possibility that one of the greatest players ever and one of the planet's most loved individuals, Kobe Bryant, had been taken from us. To further stir social media, pictures of the crash site began circling the internet. The undeniable images of the helicopter's remains only confirmed the worst. The scariest day in NBA history quickly became the saddest day in NBA history. The week that followed saw numerous memorials created across the world in honor of Kobe, Gigi, and those who had passed. Emotions were high and tears were plenty as fans everywhere came together to pay their respects and see them off. Murals covered the walls and the numbers 8 and 24 were seen just about everywhere, proving that Kobe's legacy would live on forever. Part of that legacy will live on from not only his fans, but in the new generation of players who Kobe acted as a blueprint and mentor for. Kobe meant a lot to me growing up. Uh, I feel like I studied his footwork games because I respected his, I think his top two of all time. You can see how much he meant to the NBA world, but the greatest respect he could receive was that of his former teammates and brothers. One of these was Shaquille O'Neal, who he won three championships with in the early 2000s. The duo of Shaq and Kobe is often debated as the best ever, complementing each other's game almost perfectly. Their relationship had its highs and lows, but there's no denying how tight the two were, and Shaq couldn't hold back the tears when talking about his friend. Lost to Sarge, lost my sister, and now I lost a little brother. Kobe's greatest rival, opponent, and mentor Michael Jordan delivered one of the most emotional speeches ever during Bryant's farewell. MJ and Kobe had battled on the court for years, but they also had the greatest respect for one another. MJ was Kobe's blueprint, his inspiration, his big brother. Someone who Kobe looked up to in his quest to become the best. So when it was MJ's time to pay tribute, he gave a beautiful speech. Jordan would have to deal with another crying face meme for a while, but it was definitely worth it. I'll have to look at another crying meme for the next...
As the world lost Kobe Bryant, hearts shattered even more at the news of the beautiful families and individuals who were also on board. As I read through comments about the incident and the touching speeches on Kobe, I couldn't help but stop and fully process this one. Kobe was an incredible basketball player, but he was also an incredible father. Having his daughter on that helicopter with him, saving her would have been the only thought running through his mind, but there was nothing he could do. Gigi Bryant was an incredible young woman who sought to push the boundaries and help grow the WNBA. As an aspiring talent, she had the world at her feet and was only just getting started. But it just wasn't to be, and her journey was cut short. As terrible as it was for people around the world to hear about, no one was hit harder than Kobe's wife and Gigi's mother, Vanessa Bryant. Visibly distraught during Kobe's farewell, she shared some final thoughts with the world. She was daddy's girl, but I know she loved her mama. What's crazy is that all this took place literally only a couple weeks before the United States started to go into shutdown protocols following COVID-19. In fact, only six days before Kobe Bryant passed away on the 20th of January, the first case of COVID-19 was recorded in the US. The memorial ceremony for Kobe took place on the 24th of February in a packed out Staples Center. And the Mamba for sure deserved the huge farewell ceremony he got. But if they waited a week or two longer, he would have never received a proper send-off. You see, the ceremony was held merely 15 days before mass gatherings of over a thousand people were banned statewide due to the coronavirus. More than 20,000 people gathered inside and around Staples Center for the memorial, which is insane. Like I said, two weeks later, the ceremony would have had to be canceled. The timing was clutch, just like Kobe. At the time of this video, it's almost four years since the passing of Kobe Bryant, and it still doesn't feel real sometimes. We now celebrate Mamba Day on August 24th to honor his jersey numbers 8 and 24 and commemorate his life. Kids across the world continue to shoot crumpled homework into the bin while hitting the meanest fadeaway ever whilst yelling Kobe. Players like Jason Tatum, Kyrie Irving, and Kawhi Leonard, who were mentored by Kobe Bryant, carry on his moves and mentality into the next generation of hoopers teaching them the mindset and skills that set the Mamba apart from the rest. It truly was the scariest and saddest day in NBA history. I hope you enjoyed your walk down Hoop Street, and we'll catch you in the next one.